Did you know there's only been five televised 300 games thrown by a female bowler? I was surprised at this number as it seems quite low considering the amount of extremely talented female bowlers we've seen over the years. Also, when you take into account there's been 35 300 games from men in PBA televised events, although of course there have been a lot more PBA events televised compared to the Women's Pro Tour. Many PWBA events were nationally televised from 1980 onwards, but from around 2004, women's bowling was basically non-existent on TV, with just one event receiving TV coverage, the USBC Queens. Overall, the women's tour was not in a great place, and this led to some of the women choosing to bowl in the pro men's circuit, and the PBA opened its membership to women in April of 2004. Bowlers such as Kim Adler, Carolyn Doran Ballard, Liz Johnson and Kelly Kulik became members of the PBA and Kulik became the first female to earn an exemption on the PBA tour during the 2005-2006 season. Women's bowling did start to come back to our screens from 2007 onwards as in that year the USBC did acquire the rights to the US Women's Open. They used this event as the qualifier for the PBA Women's Series which was a four-stop mini tour for the top 16 females and then the finals were then televised along with the regular pba broadcasts the us women's open returned the following year and the women's series was expanded to eight events but it was then discontinued after the 2009-2010 season it wasn't until around 2015 that the pwba was reborn and the tour returned after a 12-year hiatus thanks to a three-year funding commitment from the USBC and also the Bowling Proprietors Association of America. The 2015 tour had 10 stops and since then it's grown steadily and now sits around 12 tournaments each season, although in the 2023 season only the three major events were actually televised. But I digress, back to 300 games and in this video we're going to look at the first woman to ever bowl a perfect game on American national television, and that woman was Michelle Feldman. We head back to 1997, where Michelle was just 21 at the time, and this was just the start of her pro career, although she had won her first title in the previous year, the 1996 Columbia 300 Delaware Open. This event that we're going to be looking at is the 1997 Southern Virginia Open. The number one seed was Carolyn Doran Ballard, who was on a three-year title drought, having made nearly 20 TV appearances during that time, but had been unable to win her third title. But as the one seed, she certainly had an excellent opportunity to break her winless streak. The telecast featured five bowlers, and the first match saw fifth seed Chris Hall take on Wendy McPherson. The lanes looked to be playing quite tight, with both ladies struggling, Frame 8 saw the match become extremely close after McPherson left the 8-10 and shockingly Chris Hall missed a 7-pin meaning she had just a 2-pin advantage. She struck in the 9th but an open frame from McPherson after she chopped the 6-10 handed Hall the win. Match 2 and it was the 3 seed Jackie Mitskovich who came in to meet Hall. Once again, the scores were fairly modest, with both players having their struggles and making mistakes. For example, Chris Hall actually missed a single pin, the two pin. In the end, Mitskovic managed to strike in the 8th, 9th and the 1st in the 10th to defeat Hall 206 to 202. Match number 3, and now we see the two seed Michelle Feldman take the stage. She had been pro for just about two years at this point, and this match was a close one. There seemed to be a turning point in frame 7 when Feldman opened, but then Mitskovic opened 2 in the 8th, which cut her lead to just 10 pins. Feldman got a crucial double to tie up the match. Mitskovic struck in the 9th, and if she struck out in the 10th, it would mean Feldman could only tie. She got the first, but went through the nose the following shot, and this allowed Feldman to double in the 10th to win and advance to the title match. Now the one seed comes in, Carolyn Doran Ballard, who as we mentioned earlier, was on a three year title drought at this point. Now this is the match where finally we can see perfection and this 300 game marked the first time a female bowler had bowled a 300 on American national television. Instead of me talking over each shot, I'm just going to let all of her shots run so you can all sit back and enjoy this feat. But before we take a look at the 300 game, 
Let's just very briefly sum up what happened to the two finalists after this match, as both ladies were incredibly successful in the years following this event, and this title match seemed to kick off both of their careers. The loser, Dorian Ballard, would finally break her title drought later on in the same year, 1997, winning the Three Rivers Open for her third title. And this would really spark off her pro career, and she went off to win a further 16 pro titles in a span of just five years. This included two major titles, and perhaps most impressively, she won seven of these titles in just one year, 2001. Feldman too would go on to win a number of further titles in a short span of time. She won 10 more titles between 1998 and 2003, and would finish with a total of 12 PWBA titles, as well as two PBA Women's Series titles as well. So now, let's just sit back and enjoy this 300 game we've spoken so much about. I'd just like to thank you all for watching, and if you have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would just click the subscribe button below. Enjoy, and see you all next time. 3 on 18, this is power against accuracy. A lot of fun. Great second shot, and if you want to bowl those pros, stop by for a chance to bowl with the pros. I'll be there. Oh, and come on out. Comes this power shot again. Look at that ball. There it is. She's put it out the right. Slide it back to the pocket. Look at that angle of entry. Look at the velocity and hook power this young lady can create. 300 games. She's off to a great start here. And a little short, and oh, and a hell pocket. She knew that, see there, she knew. She laid that ball a little short, a little left of the target, and it held pocket. Well, and there's still half a match left. Anything could happen. Michelle Feldman has the front six. Well, she has a 59-pin lead. All that to do is anywhere between 20 and right and just arc it and let it roll hook. No, but we are not going to leave with eight in a row here. Michelle could shoot a 300. revolutions on this ball. Look at this ball revving. Watch this. Just hit him, spin, and just move pins everywhere. And look at this reaction from this young lady. Yes. Reset. Let's watch these shots.